click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about the numerical based on some aspects which are given in the last video. So in the last video, so far, we have finalized the material properties. We have found out in two trials that the selected wire dimension was not safe. In today's session, we will go for a few more trials and if found safe, we will go for specifications of this spring. So let us begin. Now from the previous table, we already know that the next trial or in the next trial, the diameter is going to be 4 millimeter and the associated value of sigma ultimate is 1480 Newton per millimeter square. Therefore, we can easily figure out that the allowable value is equal to 0.3 times the sigma u which comes out to be 0.3. Now let us see what's the induced value. We know that the induced value has got the empirical relation in the first part we already have done this you can refer to the first part to refer to this particular section is this one. After substituting the values we will get the value of t equal to 0.3. somewhere equal to 451.6 newton per millimeter square. Now if we compare this value it is again clear that the induced value is again greater than the allowable value and therefore design again fails. So we'll say design is not safe which leads us to go for the next level. Now students will say why we are not going for the final uh, selection directly. If we go for the final selection directly we fail to determine or we fail to prove that the earlier selections are not safe and that's why we have to go step by step. So the next selection where a diameter becomes 4.5 millimeter the ultimate value becomes 1440 Newton per millimeter square and there we can easily find out tau value the allowable tau value which is 0.3 times ultimate stress comes out to be 0.3. this one but we already know that there is a relationship between this after substituting the value it comes out to be 0.3. and therefore we can find out value of tau equal to somewhere around 356 newton per millimeter square now upon comparing it is very clear that tau is smaller than the allowable value of tau and therefore we can say that design is safe. So as the design is safe we can go for finding out another dimensions or another specifications of this spring. So after these four trials what we have got? We have got only one value which is the wire diameter and therefore the final selected wire diameter is 4.5 millimeter. So let's go for the spring specifications. We already know that the mean diameter of the spring is given by C times D. The C value that we have specified here is 5. It comes out to be 20.5 millimeter. The next is the total number of coils. Now let us assume that it is square plus grounded and hence the total number of coils will be equal to 6 which is the actual number of coil given 
plus 2. So it makes it 8. So that is what the total number of coil is. There comes the deflection thing. Deflection is given by after substituting the values for one spring So actual deformation or deflection comes out to be 7.09 millimeter. The next thing is this solid length. We know that the solid length is given by D into the total number of coils. D we have found out is 4.5 into total number of coils is 8 comes out to be 36 millimeter. And at the end, we have to find out the free length of the spring. So free length of the spring as it is mentioned by this particular empirical relation, we get it 36 plus 7.09 plus. Now we have to assume that there is certain gap between these springs. Let us assume that between two springs, the gap is 0.5 millimeter. So let me mention it here. Point 0.5 millimeter so this particular parameter which is the total gap between all the coils comes out to be the so total number of coils which is 8 in our case minus 1 into the individual gap which is 0.5 so after solving this value we get the free length somewhere equal to 51 millimeter so there we end with this particular numerical where we have found out all the specification. Let me quickly repeat this what we have done. We have started with the material properties. Then we have found out certain parameters like Wall's factor. Then we went for certain trials and error method for the diameter and the induced value of the shear stress. After four trial, we got the answer that the design is safe and then we found out that the wire diameter is 4.5 millimeter. Based on that particular wire diameter, we have found out certain parameters like the mean coil diameter, the total number of coils, the actual deflection, the solid length and the free length of the spring. As far as this spring is concerned, these many parameters are sufficient describing a spring. So there we end with the numerical number 2. In the next part, we are going to look at the spring design considering the fluctuating or the variable loads. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.